Hello students in this lecture i will be teaching you how to install ruby on rails in on windows 10 i have created a new windows 10 and fresh installation and to go to rails installation go to railsinstaller.org/en here when you go down there are two options for windows Ruby 2.1 is the highest option that we have been provided and uh, Ruby 2.2.3 is not available here but we can go on with Ruby 2.1.5 Rails is 4.1 we can update it later so you um, download it by clicking here and once the download is complete go to the downloads folder and start i set the license and uh, if you have installed uh, rails then uh, install kit then uh, off it otherwise keep it simple and then keep on installing so it will take a while to install it so i will be back when the installation is complete so when the installation is complete then you can click on finish and it asks for the name i will write my name and ask for email i would like my email here it's the configuration of the git and uh, while voilà, i ready to go now and this is the ssh key it has, they have provided us uh, we have to copy this key and then go to github gitlab or bitbucket whatever you use and in the ssh keys you install it so that you don't have to give the password every time so when everything is ready now we can check our ruby shui is ruby 2.1.5 and rails dash v it's rail 4.1.8 we can do gem install rails 4.2.3 so now it again will take some time to install it allow us as and <clears throat> close it and uh, try to run the command prompt again so here i write ruby dash v okay now i install gem install rails 4.2.3 so i have found the fix of the problem and now the bundler is installed the problem is uh, explained in this link and uh, it says that uh, you have to download the certificate from here and paste it in c rails installer and uh, ruby and lib and uh, ruby here we can search about ssl and this is the ssl c rails installer and uh, c rails installer ruby 2.2.2 lib 
2.1.0 lib ruby 2.1.0 ruby gems here we created a new file called address external.pm and here we pasted the file that is provided here and then we run it and it's okay so now we can do gem install rails 4.213 and now it, it is installing so i will come back when the installation is uh, my rails installer couldn't find rails 4.2.3 but uh, it installed 4.2.5.1 so it's much uh, new so um, now what we do is we say rails new my app create a new app and uh, when the bundle is installed then we can run the rail server so we have to wait again until the installation and the starter files are ready now that uh, the installation is complete we can go to my app my app and dir in windows and uh, we can do here rails s to run the rails server and go to local host port 3000 and yes we can see this page if you can see this page that means that your installations are complete and good and here we can see that rails version is 4.2 2.5 and ruby version is 2.1.5 and both are okay for us for now so this is the short uh, explanation of how to install uh, ruby on rails on windows so please uh, stay with us for more videos and courses so see you again bye